what's everyone saying it's your boy someone is fast back again i'm here today outside kelvin bridge station here in the west end of glasgow and in today's video i'm going to be starting a new series i'm going to be attempting to go to every single spfl football stadium here in scotland and in today's video we're going to be looking at the ones just around glasgow in and about here and there and you're going to be joining me let's go So we've made it to Kartsdyke, out west, uh, just near Greenock, um, about 45 minutes outside of Glasgow. And we're going to head to the first stadium, a stadium of Greenock Morton, uh, Capulo Park. So yeah, we're just going to have a walk down, see where the stadium is and yeah, catch you in a bit. Let me just say, this is a very busy road. This is a very busy road, like we're literally right on the coast, it's actually so nice. But I think you can see across to... I don't know where exactly, but like Helensburgh area. Um, but yeah, man, compare this. Wow, this is so loud. <laughs> it's so loud. So we have Capulo Trade Park. And just up here, Capulo Stadium. The one thing is, of course, like at the moment, like every single football game, well, apart from a few that have been like tests, all of them have been games behind doors. So it's not like anyone's going to be able to go in there, but it's actually mad to see like these old stadiums, like the small grounds, because you know, I'm a Chelsea fan. 40,000 stadium, Stamford Bridge, it's much different to one of these. Like, I've never been to an away game because it's so hard to get tickets, but. You know, even just to go to one of these like League One, League Two SPFL games would be, it would be so cool, like so cool. So yeah, as you can see behind me, this is Capulo Park, the home of Greenham Morton. Greenham Morton was founded in 1874 and currently play in the SPFL Championship, and right now on ninth place. I know they're playing a, a playoff game tonight at 7:45. Yeah, by the time you would have seen this, the game would have gone <laughs> like weeks ago, but. It'll be interesting to see who wins. I don't know much about the team, but we move. Yeah, so Morton haven't been in the top flight since 1988. And their last major trophy was in 2014, 2015, which was the League One title. And yeah, like it's a small, it seemed, well, you can't really see much from this side. I think you can go around the other side and see part of it as well. But it seems like such a cozy stadium. You know, 11,000 people, 5,000 standing. You know, to confirm that I've been here, I'm gonna have to get a nice little COVID elbow bump on the gate, because that's number one ticked off. Granite Morton, Capulo Park. Let's hit up the next one. Actually, actually, before we get the next train back down to Paisley, let's go see what's around the other side to see if I can find any more, you know, like a sign, something, you know, a piece of branding. Let's go. Okay, so I'm up on Sinclair Street and it seems like what I'm walking along is one side of the stadium. I see a big hoarding that has the McGill's Buses sign in there. Come on, sponsored by McGill's Buses. McGill's, sponsor my videos, please. But, ooh, yes, yes. What do we have here? We have a cheeky sign. Welcome to Capilo. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Damn, you can actually see inside. Like, oh my days. Now look at that, that is, wow. Wow. 
Well, that's enough time here. I need to go get my train back because they're every half an hour. What was it? 11.37, set 11.49. I'll see you on the train. We're gonna hit up the next stadium, St. Mirren Park in Paisley. You know what, yeah? One thing, I might be chatting the most doo-doo right now, but recently on the news, uh, apparently one of the one of the ferries, one of the Calmac ferries, the ones that go like through into the islands of Scotland, didn't one break down and then it's like caused a whole shitstorm. Is that the one over there? Because apparently it's supposed to be getting fixed in, is it Port Glasgow? But Port Glasgow's down the road. I don't know if it's that one. If it is, then ha, huh, it's peak. But hurry up, boat, get fixed, please. I want to go places. So I'm here at Paisley St. James at the next stadium, which is literally just across the road. We're gonna be seeing St. Mirren Park, the home of St. Mirren, and yeah, let's go. St. Mirren Football Club. Let's get a bit closer. So St. Mirren is here in Paisley. Uh, the club was founded in 1877 and play here at the Smisa? Smisa, Smisa, S-M-I-S-A. It's a sponsorship, I'm guessing, yeah. Um, you could just easily call it St. Mirren Park. St. Mirren have been here at the St. Mirren Park since 2009. This is following their move from Love Park, which is literally down the road, about five, 10 minutes away. And yeah, it looks like a nice modern stadium from the outside. Like I said earlier, they have a rivalry with Greenwich Morton down the road, even though they're in different leagues at the moment. So Greenwich Morton's in League One, and right now, St. Mirren is in the championship. St. Mirren are currently eighth in the championship right now, and yeah, looking like a nice stadium from the outside. Don't really know if there's much you can see. The car park's open. I don't want to step into the car park because that's a bit mad, but you can see uh, just that tiny bit in if you look. Let me show you. Look inside there. Look, 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 look. Oh my days. It's the pitch. Ah ha ha. It's also a nice thing to say that Samiran's last major trophy was in 2013-2014 and it was the Scottish League Cup. So, you know, at least the, the nice thing is that I'm visiting clubs that have won trophies. It's nice. <coughs> Tottenham. <coughs> Shit. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go get a picture. Then I'm going to have a walk around, see how, like, what I can see of the perimeter of the stadium. And yeah, after that, head to the next stadium. Literally, it's so funny. It's so funny. Like, literally, people are driving past. I'm trying to take a picture of them. Hey, I'm guessing there's St. Mirren fans. Are St. Mirren playing today? I don't know. But until then, number two. Oh, yeah. So I'm not really missing much. It's just a whole bunch of car parking. Um, yeah. I'm at Paisley St. James. Literally, I'll just go down to Gilmore Street, uh, which is about 10 15 minute walk. And then we get the bus to the next stadium, Ibrox with Rangers. I just missed my bus. Yeah, literally that's it. That's, that's the one, the nine, it's just gone. But I've only got 10 minutes left to wait, so. So it should be, right? Later, 20 25 minutes later, 
Uh, just around Car Donald. Just got off the nine, and I can see the stadium just over there, just behind those block of flats there. Very, very close. Of course, the Glasgow Rangers, or just known as Rangers, were found in 1872. And of course, most notably, they went into liquidation and refounded in 2012. But since then, they've had a, like, a quick rise from the Scottish third, was it third, fourth tier, or well, the bottom tier. And of course, this season, most recently, they won the league. I think they're still unbeaten in the season. Um, that's just crazy, imagine. Like, unbeaten. I don't know how they do it. The power of Steven Gerrard, you know. You see, I ain't trying to catch myself in no controversy. Of course, there's a whole thing like because Rangers refound itself after liquidation. Some people are like, oh, uh, Rangers doesn't exist. It's was it Sefco? Um, I'm saying nothing. I'm saying nothing. But yeah, Rangers actually have a joint world record number of league titles 55. I think it's joint record with Linfield in Northern Ireland, right? 55 league titles is crazy you can see rangers and their rival celtic have had a very big dominance in scottish football the thing is it's nice to have seen another team win the league this year which hadn't happened for what 10 was it nine nine was it nine it was nine stadium number one two three stadium number three The thing when you come to any of these like massive stadiums you never realize how big it is until you have a walk around and you come up close because uh, Ibrox has capacity for 51,000 people which is more than Stamford Bridge <laughs> it's more than Stamford Bridge <laughs> look you can see uni oh my days oh wow this is very shaky damn 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 Oh, the shops there, should I get something? Should I support the local economy? Support our football clubs? So in 1971, um, this well here at Ibrox was the site of the Ibrox disaster. Um, around this bit here, down the Coplands, that's Coplands Road. Before, of course, before stadiums got made into all seaters, you know, you were able to pack in hundreds of thousands of people into one stadium. And if, if you look at a picture of the the original layout of the stadium you could see that the stadium was dug in and then you come up and then a huge bunch of stairs that go down into the exits here and unfortunately one day um, after one of the matches um, it led to a huge crash of people um, numerous people lost their lives um, I had a little read into it and it's, it's just quite sad like that people go away to a football game you know for 90 minutes um, see your mates you know watch your team and then they don't come back home, which is, it's, it's sad when you think about it, man. Like, it's a sport that we all love. It's a sport, you know, we support our teams, you know, it's, sometimes it's a getaway for some people. Like, even look at during, during lockdown one, when we had no football, it's just like, you miss a part of yourself that isn't there, you know? Like, that's the thing, like, especially, this is like off topic, but you know, with the whole Super League thing, you know, I'm just going on a rant here, but still, like, with the Super League thing, you know, in other countries, in other cultures, you know, the sport clubs are not, you know, as part of a community as much as, say, over here. Like, over here, we love our teams, man. You can't switch a team. Like, if I, ooh, this is a nice view. If I ended up switching team, say I support Chelsea one day and then I support Arsenal or Man United, like you, you could never see that. Like it wouldn't happen. Like a football club is part of you and part of how how you live, part of you know yourself, part of your community. And yeah, just we all love football. I don't even know what I was saying, but I'm just looking at this beautiful view. This is very nice. This is very nice. Damn, I'm feeling dehydrated. <laughs> so I think we're done here at Ibrox with Rangers. We're gonna head up to the next stadium, which is in Mary Hill. We're going to Partick Thistle at Fur Hill.
Ahaha, Fairhill Stadium, right ahead. So as you can see here, I'm at Partick Thistle, I'm at Fairhill Stadium. Uh, it's about 20 minutes walk from Kelvin Bridge Station. Um, yeah, what can I say? The club was founded in 1876 and have the nickname of the Jags. The one thing about Fairhill Stadium is that it actually only has three stands. If we go look at the other side, there's actually a student accommodation block which towers over the stadium and you can literally see straight onto the pitch. So we're gonna have a look at that in a sec. I don't think there's much you can actually check because that gate over there is uh, locked. Zoom, 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 zoom. But first, before we go look at the other side, have a look at this mural. This is absolutely amazing. Like, wow. Look at this, it goes all the way down the stand. That is, that is an amazing mural. So Partick this will actually play in the Scottish League One. They were actually relegated from the championship last season. I don't think Partick Thistle fans would want to talk about that. Um, of course, because of COVID, it ended the season and points were done on points per game. Um, so as uh, you know, you look at the table, it is actually quite unfair that they got relegated. But they're straight back up, back into the championship and hopefully see them back in the premiership so I can actually go to a game, see some big games in Scottish football for an affordable price. Boom. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, uh, right next to the stadium is actually a block of student apartments. So that's Fairhill Court. And it actually looks over one of the stands. So I'm guessing the others, the other stand over there that we were just at with the mural is the one without seats, the one without the stand. And yeah, it's a nice little stadium. Um, about 10,000 uh, capacity, all seater. So before I head on the long journey to the next stadium, of course, of course, we've got a stadium number, stadium number four. <laughs> you know, I also forgot to mention the one thing that Partick this was probably most known for, and it's their mascot, Kingsley. You will have seen it's that yellow, weird shaped dude with the squiggly lines, and you know, you'll see it here. But yeah, it's um intriguing character uh, very unique Bam. i'm gonna need that water asap because we're going on our longest stretch now to the next stadium we're gonna head out all the way out to dumbarton to find dumbarton fc and their stadium <sighs> so that's gonna be a long one so uh whew, time to charge the camera time to charge my own batteries let's get it Now we've reached just up to Dumbarton Football Club Stadium, right here. And I'd like to welcome you to, oh my days, the sun's in my eyes. Well, <laughs> welcome to Dumbarton Football Club. You're here at the Dumbarton Football Club Stadium or known as the C&G Systems Stadium. Yeah. Dumbarton was founded in 1872 and they currently play here at the stadium which hosts about 2,000 people. It's quite a small stadium, but to be fair, it is quite a while out in the west, out west from Glasgow. But wow, it's in, it's, it's in plain view of the Dumbarton Castle. Uh, I think I might check out, go up the hill, see if I can get some views from up there. But yes, it looks like a nice little modern stadium, to be fair, I can't lie. The stadium opened in 2000. It looks quite nice, like a nice nifty, personal stadium from what i saw from google maps it's like there's only the one stand and then around is just nothing so dumbarton used to play at boghead park which is about 1.5 miles away from here they've actually got a game tonight a lot of teams have games tonight you know i think it's all the playoff games i must be like visiting all of them at the same time the forecast was saying it was going to be raining all week but you know today i don't know i got some sort of luck 
So the C and G System Stadium, Dumbarton Football Club, the stadium number five. Bam. Let's do it. It's been a long day so far, I can't lie. I'm tired. <laughs> oh my days. But we move, we move, we move. We've got quite a few more to go. I think we're only halfway. So, because uh, it is the one stand, home and away supporters are all in the one stand, which is, <laughs> oh, it would be quite hostile. Like, there's a grill through there, you can't see through ish. But, you know, just a little peek. I like to see some grass. Oh. So here is the site, just down the road. Uh, this is the site of Dumbarton Castle. It's actually closed at the moment because Corona. Like it's mad because basically we're literally at the Clyde. Look at the scenes. Oh my days! It seems like that gate is open. Might as well see what the views are like. This is amazing, what the... Wow, wow, wow. Oh. It's crazy when I realized that I started my day literally right across there. I've literally come from all the way across there, all the way down into Glasgow and then back. The, wow. What else can I say? <laughs> so, it's, 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 it's very quiet here. It's so peaceful. I've got to get on train in 25 minutes. But it's nice just to sit down and do nothing, man. Like, I've been on my feet all day. <laughs> It's a shame that the castle's closed because I think, well, from what I've seen, um, that's how you get up to the top. And then from there, you would have seen, oh, it would have been so nice to see like the view of the pitch from the top down. Um, and even just look out here, like, it's a very nice day. Oh, it is. I seem to be getting blessed when I want to go on days out. Like, wow, I bought the coat and everything. Like, my, my, my. But yeah, today's travel uh, was actually quite, it's, it's actually been quite cheap. Um, so I've used today an SPT day tripper ticket costs just over £13, £13.10 I think and that gives you unlimited travel on um, ScotRail, First Bus, um, a number of other bus services but not McGill's um, across the whole Strathclyde region and yeah it's got me all over the place like <laughs> it's, it's actually so, a bug <laughs> But yeah, no, it's, it's got me all over the place for, for relatively cheaply. Um, I've still got quite a few more stadiums to do. Yeah, I'm kind of cheating this. Um, so the next stadium will be Hampden Park, the, the former home of Queen's Park, the home of the Scotland national team, and also Lesser Hampden, which will be the home of Queen's Park soon. <laughs> but on now. But yeah, we're going to head there, see what's the chat, and uh, catch you on the way there. So a bit of a change of plan, instead of going straight to uh, Mount Florida and Hampton Park, we're out here in Airdrie, going to go take off the, the stadiums around here first and then head into town, do those ones close to town. So um, I need to find a bus stop and I'll catch you in a bit. So right now we're going to knock off the stadiums for Airdrieonians, Hamilton Academical, um, Albion Rovers and Motherwell. It's just a bit easier doing them now getting them out of the way so then I don't have to come out this far at the end of the day. It literally took me an hour to get between Dumbarton and here Airdrie so uh, it's quite far out. It's literally on the edge of the ticket boundary so get out now. Just get ticket off and then move on to the ones closer.
So I've reached the stadium of Adrianians. It's a bit of a weird layout because it's like there's a CrossFit center which is built into the stadium. I'm guessing there's like another way around, but like you have to go all the way around the stadium. Um, I'll see if I can do that. I'll see if I've got time because the next bus back to Airdrie or to the next stadium is in 20 minutes. So I'm just trying to see what I can, uh, what I can come up. I'm just trying to see what I can come up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk onto Howlist Nest Road. Yeah, so basically, I don't even know, did I say that right? I don't know. Basically, Adrianians founded in 2002 as a regeneration of the old Adrianians club. Um, I think that went into liquidation. So they've been here since they, well, since the new club was founded. The stadium opened in 1998. So the original club was here for four years before it got put into liquidation. Um, I think they've got a game tonight. Um, another one of the playoffs, which is uh, fascinating, honestly. Why do I come on a playoff day like Earth and Hell? I found a path, which probably, oh my days, okay, nice. So, um, yeah, from here you can kind of get a, a view into the stadium, the Excelsior Stadium or the Penny Cars Stadium at the moment due to sponsorship. And yeah, there's got, there's a lot of parking. I think there's a gate open there. Um, there's no signs or anything which I can just be like, hello, I'm at the club, but let's have a look. Adrianians play in League One and they're playing Cove Rangers tonight. I think there's some fans, like there's like three people <laughs> just standing out there. Oops, those old midges. <laughs> Let me see, is there a sign? I just want a sign, my picture, get on my bus and get out of here, man. So I literally just ran to see if there was any sort of sign on this side. But it seems like this is the closest I'm gonna get because there's no some there's no sort of sign or anything. There's a security dude, he is probably looking at me like, what is this guy talking about? What is he doing? What is he doing? But yeah, no, um let me touch the sign. I've got to touch the sign. Come on, come on, come on. Um no, I'll touch the gate. Cause it's easier just to number, I don't know, I've lost count. Adrianians. Bam. Let's go get this bus. This is coming in soon. Next stop, Albion Rovers. Down in Kodike. And here it is. Oh, let me let the bus pass. Oh. There we go. The Rygar Stadium, Albion Rovers. So we're here, literally 10 minutes on the bus, down from Edrunians here at the stadium of Albion Rovers, who are seventh in League Two at the moment. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> ah. Oh my days. I love people. It's quite a small stadium. It's, a, it's about 1,500 people. Um, and yeah, it's literally 10 minutes down the road from Edrunians, which was quite a bit, I think, double the size. Or am I lying? Wasn't I might be lying, it was like 10,000. So the original name of the stadium is Clifton Hill, but of course a lot of stadiums here have, have their naming rights given away to sponsorship. Um, I don't know what else to say, there's not really much I can see in it, but at least when I, there's a sign. There's a, that's what I wanted, that's what I wanted. I just wanted a sign, like, and I got it. Right, got stadium, Albion Rovers. I don't know how many I've got left, but bam, we've made it. Now I just have to wait for the bus, <laughs> which is in like 20 minutes. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Contemplate life and charge my phone because I've been out for so long. It's like 10 past seven. So, uh, oh, alcohol. Yes, drink responsibly. You know, it's going to be like, oh, let me show you the timetables. You know, let me show you where I'm going next. Bada bing. Donde esta? Donde esta? No hay nada. So I might as well just tell you normally. 
So we've just hit up Albion Rivers. Next, we're gonna be hitting up Motherwell and Fair Park. It's gonna be about an hour, an hour-ish down, 45 minutes maybe. Uh, we're gonna get the bus and then another bus. But it's nice just to get this out of the way. If I was here last, the thing, if this was the last place I'd have to go, like, I would have missed all the buses. Like, I would have been stuck here. Imagine like 9, 10 p.m. Just an hour train ride from, imagine the Uber. Imagine the Uber price, it would be expensive, so. Quick thinking, quick thinking, quick thinking. So I'm in Motherwell Town Centre and it is very quiet. Everything's closed now, isn't it? Even the McDonald's. McDonald's closed at eight. That's a, that's a shock. So we're literally just gonna walk down to Motherwell Fair Park the stadium and then it's gonna be a quick 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 one because i've got <laughs> i've got trains to catch come on come on my juice pepes come on you know what i'm talking about <laughs> you know what i'm talking about come on we love that we love that we love that shout out pepes okay now oh big as the and a kfc okay bada bing bada boom I see it, I see it. It's behind this buffet place. Am I crazy or does everyone else do that where they don't touch, they don't touch any of the, the buttons or anything? I don't know, we move. That was a quick one to cross road. Oh my days, here we are. Motherwell, Fair Park. Whew, there we go. Made it, Fair Park Stadium, Motherwell. Currently ninth in the Premiership. Um, founded in 1886 and have been playing here since 1895. Seems like a nice stadium. It's your traditional four, uh, four stands. You know, imagine just on a packed match day. This would be brilliant. Just to, you know, that'd be the burger van. Third pound fifty for a burger, but still, you know, it'd actually be quite decent. I doubt there's a game going on because it does seem quiet. Okay, Fair Park, the Phil O'Donnell stand. I've got one, two, three more stadiums to do. Three slash four, Fair Park. <sighs> Let's go on to the next one. <laughs> the thing is, imagine you supported the team you lived right next to. Look at these houses behind me. They. Like, imagine if you're a Motherwell fan and you literally live right on the doorstep of, you, of the football stadium. And then imagine seeing all the players come off the coach and now you're just checking from bedroom like, wow. What an experience that must be, especially if you're a young fan. Wow, man, wow. Now our next stadium to hit up is Hamilton Academical. I'm gonna walk down to Airball Station, get a train one, two stops to Hamilton West, and then it should be right there next to it. Let's go. So I'm at Hamilton West. I'm gonna look for the Hamilton Academical uh, Stadium. It is starting to get dark and it's starting to rain as well. So um, I think my luck is about to start running out in the next 20 or so minutes. See, I feel it, <laughs> I feel it. You know what, yeah, you know what the main challenge actually has been today? The main challenge has been keeping the Afro on point. Like, oh my days. <sighs> the Afro is looking sad, man. Oh. Ugh. It's sad, it's sad. I've got to keep the afro looking fresh, but it's always hard when you go on these days out and like when you're just cutting about doing the madness like all over the place, but we move, we move, we move, we live. Finally, Hamilton Academical Stadium, the Fountain of Youth Stadium, New Douglas Park. 
Oh my days, it's behind the Morrisons, a Sainsbury's, a McDonald's, everything, everything, everything. Have a look, bam. I don't know if there was a game on or something. Um, Hamilton are currently bottom of the Premiership. Oh, cry, cry, cry. But yeah, man, it's this. I'm guessing people were here because there, there's literally just cars that have just left. It is starting to get dark. It. <laughs> The club were founded in 1874 and also have the nickname of the Ackies, uh, Academical Ackies, um, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's kind of self explanatory. Yeah, I think this is going to be it for me for, for today because I can't like it to have them insulted in the with it still being a bit light, is definitely not possible. Um, but yeah, and I'm going to go around, get a picture, and uh, totally do what you do. Really do. Back to Hamilton West Station and get a train back home. Wait, so last I checked, it was Fountain of Youth. Are you telling me it's boys? Can you even see that? And it's an, it looks like a bright new sign as well, like Foy's Stadium. If it is, then forgive me, forgive me, but we move. Uh, Cocaine Anonymous, hold up, where? Damn, wow, I've never seen cocaine. Okay, uh, fair. But of course, Hamilton Academical, the Aki's, Foy's Stadium, Fountain of Youth. Oh yeah, Fountain of Youth, F O Y S. Uh, last one of today. Bam. Oh, let me get a picture. have a cheeky look inside the, the pitch just before we head off look at oh and the floodlights are on that is beautiful oh my days I just want to be back home for a while seeing all these stadiums actually just makes me so sad I can't lie like soon 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 we'll be back to the football We'll be cheering on our teams. I'll be cheering on my team for the FA Cup final, the Champions League final. It's, uh, oh, I hope May is a good month. Um, I just hope, yeah, I just hope and pray. But yeah, it's sad I couldn't do Hampton Park and Celtic Park. Those will be for another video. But let me just say thank you. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you're a star. Because I, I just want to say, Thanks for everyone who's been watching my videos, you know, liking, subscribing. Here's to more growth. And I've hoped you liked this episode number one of Around the Ground, where I'm going around to every single Scottish SPFL football stadium here. It's, it's, a, it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. It's starting to get dark as well. I'm going to head back to Hamilton West, get a train back home. Make sure you like, subscribe, drop a comment what you want to see next, and I'll catch you in a bit. It's been your boy, Someone Explores. Till then.